Mental calculation of the current year. See the first day of year. We need to see what's the first day of the year and whether it is a leap year. Now we need to learn the following table in order of months. The first day of the year shown in the cell corresponding to January. Tips to do this more entertaining. It is a great idea to ear the year table that corresponds to our year in its non-leap base, and also remembering whether our year of birth is in fact leap or not and if possible, the actual number of the year. After this we can learn the same for our relatives and friends, to make the gettest number of year tables easy to learn although for practical terms we don't need nothing else than the current year's table and we can forget about the other ones and use them as years. Pass. To convert to leap year, we know that we simply need to add one to the months after February. So instead of learning to different tables for the same year base, it is better to calculate normally with the base table and, if the desired month is located after February, then we must simply add one after calculating the desired day, so that the calculation becomes much easier. Over time, we'll learn instinctively and immediately to relate the months with their numeric values and that's something that in fact we all have a lot of practice throughout our lives. Tips to do this more entertaining. It is a great idea to learn the year table that corresponds to our year in its non-leap base and also remembering whether our year of birth is in fact leap or not and if possible, the actual number of the year. After this we can learn the same for our relatives and friends, to make the gettest number of year tables easy to learn although for practical terms we don't need nothing else than the current year's table and we can forget about the other ones and use them as years. Pass. To convert to leap year, we know that we simply need to add one to the months after February. So instead of learning to different tables for the same year base, it is better to calculate normally with the base table and, if the desired month is located after February, then we must simply add one after calculating the desired day, so that the calculation becomes much easier. Over time, we'll learn instinctively and immediately to relate the months with their numeric values and that's something that in fact we all have a lot of practice throughout our lives. see the first day of the month. From the previous table, clicking on the months, we need to see the first day of the desired month the big number. Look at how by clicking one of these big numbers, that same number is the first day in the month table right next, below. For instance, if this big number is 1, the first day in the month table, next, will be Sunday 1. And if the big number for the month is 7, the first day in the month table, next, will be Saturday 7, and so on. Determine the day of week. We need to learn the next table in order of columns and in 31 day mode the columns always have the same sequence and includes all possibly existing months, and taking into account the first day of the month. We count from there to the column of the day to which the desired day belongs. Tips Just like we managed to start calculating rapidly the start days of the month by learning the year table the very first table, 
we can accelerate the practical calculation maintaining in our immediate memory the initial day of the current month. This is the most immediately useful application of the capability of mentally calculating the calendar. Existing sequences for the days of the month. This is the first that we should learn. We must start by small steps, and the least that will be useful for us is being able to calculate the days of the current month. For this, we must always see what is the first day of the month and from there we will be able to move around using the following sequences, which will indicate what day corresponds to each day of the month, in a very simple way. Obviously, a month can only start in one of the seven days of the week. 1 equals Sunday, 2 equals Monday, 3 equals Tuesday, 4 equals Wednesday, 5 equals Thursday, 6 equals Friday, 7 equals Saturday. In the form of columns, we always have the same seven sequences. The only difference is that, as we can see, these columns of sequences are displaced and are counted from the first day of the current month. One sequence 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, 2 sequence 2, 9, 16, 23, 30, 3 sequence 3, 10, 17, 24, 31. 4 sequence 4, 11, 18, 25. 5 sequence 5, 12, 19, 26. 6 sequence 6, 13, 20, 27. 7 sequence 7, 14, 21, 28. Learning the above can take us a few days, but once we learn these sequences we will be able to see how amazingly easy it will become for us to start guessing the days of the month without the need of an actual calendar. Existing sequences for the years of the calendar. There's a total of 14 sequences. 7 for non-leap years and 7 for leap years. This is the second that we need to learn to calculate any day of the current year, since it indicates the first day of the year and the first day of each month rapidly. We need to learn only the table per year, the one that corresponds to the current one. It will allow us to calculate beyond the current month, and calculate the days of any year freely. Calculate. At the left, we show here the non leap year sequences and at the right side we show the leap sequences. Obviously, the year can only start in one of the days of the week, and the first month, January, shows here the day in which it starts, and which identifies the initial number of the current year. 1 equals Sunday, 2 equals Monday, 3 equals Tuesday, 4 equals Wednesday, 5 equals Thursday, 6 equals Friday, 7 equals Saturday. It's possible to learn only the first calendar table, the one that starts in one and that is non-leap, at the left side, and right next. Based on it, we can display two other initial day, along with adding one if we're dealing with a leap year, starting from March. But in general it is easier to learn one of these calendar tables for the current year. For instance, for year 2013, the calendar is the one that starts in three and at the left side, 
which starts in Tuesday 3 and is non-leap. And for year 2014, the calendar is the one that starts in 4 and at the left side, which starts in Wednesday 4 and is non-leap. complete example calculation. Next we detail the full mental process we follow to calculate the random day. In this case, how to calculate the day June 3, 2013. The first we need to do is to remember the year table for 2013, which includes the first day of the month for each month of 2013. We remember that June is visually at position 6, and we know that we have months grouped 4 by 4 at rows in this table. So we remember the sequence for 2013 for the second row, and the second month of that row, with the sequence 4, 7, 2, 5. Now we know, and remember, that June starts since Saturday 7 for 2013. So that day will be the one from which we will start counting to the desired day. The desired day in this case is June 3rd for 2013. So we count with the column sequence for the days of the month, but from the first day of the month, that in this case is Saturday 7, Saturday 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, Sunday 2, 9, 16, 23, 30, Monday 3, 10, 17, 24, 31. So we know with full certainty that June 3, 2013, is Monday. Using this example, we can try to mentally calculate this or any other day that we might want, and expect that over time we can become more expert at calculating the days easily, as we have just shown, and in very few seconds. Brief explanation of the logic. Step 1. How to mentally calculate the calendar. This task is easier than it seems, and I will explain it in a totally practical way. While we learn this trick, it will be very handy to have a printed calendar handy, preferably for the year 2013 or 2014, for this edition of this document. The first thing that will be useful for us more immediately is to learn how to calculate the days of the current month. Calculating the current month. The first step is that the basis of all of this is always remembering what the first day of the month is. For instance, for November 2013, we have the following calendar. As we can see, the first day for November was Friday day 6. Now, we must learn that the second key is that all months that a calendar can have always follow the same sequence vertically. First, the days are numbered like this. 1 equals Sunday 2 equals Monday 3 equals Tuesday 4 equals Wednesday 5 equals Thursday 6 equals Friday 7 equals Saturday. Second, in form of columns vertically, the same seven sequences are always repeated. The only difference is that, as we can see, these sequences of columns are displaced and are counted from the first day of the current month. First sequence 1, 8, 15, 22, 29. Second sequence 2, 9, 16, 23, 30. Third sequence 3, 10, 17, 24, 31. 
fourth sequence four, eleven, eighteen, twenty-five. Fifth sequence five, twelve, nineteen, twenty-six. Sixth sequence six, thirteen, twenty, twenty-seven. Seventh sequence seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Learning these sequences can take us a few days, but once we manage it, we'll see how surprisingly easy it will become for us to start guessing correctly the days of the month without the need of a calendar. For our example of November 2013, the first day is Friday day 6 and we'll be able to easily calculate seeing that all of the days of the first sequence would be Friday in one only group in our mind 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, all of the days of the second sequence would be Saturday in one only group in our mind 2, 9, 16, 23, 30, all of the days of the third sequence would be Sunday in one only group in our mind 3, 10, 17, 24, 31, all of the days of the fourth sequence would be Monday in one only group in our mind 4, 11, 18, 25, all of the days of the fifth sequence would be Tuesday in one only group in our mind 5, 12, 19, 26. All eight of the days of the sixth sequence would be Wednesday in one only group in our mind 6, 13, 20, 27. And all of the days of the seventh sequence would be Thursday in one only group in our mind 7, 14, 21, 28. practice and learn the previous sequences with the months of your choice during some time or during a few days, and verify with a printed calendar whether you are guessing correctly. Once you achieve it, you'll be able to calculate any day of the current month just by remembering the first day of the month. Once you can feel comfortable enough guessing all of the days of the current month or any month only by knowing its first day, you'll be able to go on to the next step, which will allow us to calculate any day of the whole year. Step 2 Calculating all of the months of the year To be able to freely calculate any month of the year, we need to learn the initial day of each month. This is the fastest way and which requires less effort to directly move to any month, although it requires enough memory as to remember those 12 numbers during the whole year. This is the maximum initial difficulty, but once overcome, we'll have mental access to all of the days of the current year. Next are the tables that we must learn, one for year 2013, and another for the year 2014. This is all we need to calculate all of the days of this year 2013, or the days of the next year 2014. The way to learn these calendar tables is in the order of the months, from January to December. It is also necessary to use our memory vividly to visually remember the layout of the table, in four month rows. In this way we'll be able to move mentally and visually to the month we want, and we'll easily associate the initial date numbers for each month, so we'll be able to easily move through the months in any order we need. We can southeast, for instance, that the first day of January 2013 is 3, so we count simultaneously the names and the numbers of the days Sunday 1, Monday 2, Tuesday 3. And for January 2014, it would be the same, with the only difference that we see it starts in for Sunday 1, Monday 2, Tuesday 3, Wednesday 4, and so on for all of the other months. Once we have the first day of the month, we do exactly the same we learned at the very start, when we saw and practiced the way of calculating the days of the current month. Only that instead of using the first day of the month as a reference, now we'll be using the first day indicated for the desired month. When leap years are involved, 
We just need to advance one additional day at the end of all of the calculation operation, but we only do it for the months starting from March, which is where the leap year starts having an effect. Additional resources. This document comes with a CD-ROM with a file name index.html through which it is possible to access an interactive calendar calculator to exercise the concepts we have talked about. With it, we can also obtain the initial day and the table of any day we want, making use of a computer and a web browser, and the rest depends on our mind. It also contains a reference with the 14 different possible combinations of the calendar, each starting in one of the days of the week, which gives us seven and another seven for the leap years. Finally, it contains a very detailed example on how to calculate the randomly picked day, which can be exercised and repeated for another day until the mental process can be easily understood naturally. This document is the first edition of how to mentally calculate the calendar. Edited in November 2013, to solve any doubt and help understand better this document and get to learn this method of mentally calculating the calendar, I can receive email through u.project at yahoo.com with the email title calendar A0001 November 5, 2013 1640 Also, there will soon be in the future, announcements of this and other products at the website shop.archifier.org.